Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? It's Tawanda, and I'm back with another general energy reading. I want to give you all a quick collective message. I hope you had a great weekend. And that your week is, well, you're ready to get your week off to a great start, okay? It is a little past midnight my time. So you all probably won't see this message until morning. Maybe this message is going to confirm something that your intuition has been telling you. Okay. Mm, could be something about your path. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy of the message that you have for the collective? Mm. Okay, I have accept... <laughs> Wow. I have acceptance and love. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. So how present are you right now? Radical acceptance. Radical is kind of extreme, something more than usual. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. So, something about love, you're being called to focus on the present in terms of love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but something is limitless. See yourself open to receive. So whoever you are, something is probably coming in for you in the area of love. And the divine wants you to be open to receiving. Okay? Be in receiving mode. Okay? Yeah, somebody wants to come in and exchange energy with you. Okay? <laughs> yeah, there's a change in the wind. Okay, so this could be related to a love connection or um, this could be relationship, any type of relationship, right? It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be family, friends, or whatever. Uh, but in the past, something happened in the past that maybe you have been um, mentally revisiting a lot, you know, thinking about it a lot. Uh, ruminating over it not able to let something go the first card is acceptance okay radical acceptance in the now opens the flow so you're being asked to you know not focus on the past but focus on the now okay that energy is going to bring in lim limitless opportunities for you okay but it's going to require humility on your part all right? And you're going to have to trust in the divine. Be okay with surrendering whatever it is from the past that you need to. Okay? What from the past is blocking love for you? It's time to clear that energy. Okay? Because that energy, clearing that energy is going to bring in some freedom for you as well as companionship. So, instead of focusing on the past, divine says focus on right now so that divine love can come in for you. As well as a sense of freedom. Go ahead and surrender that hurt, that pain from the past. Okay? You're an extraordinary person. You deserve love. Okay? But there, there could be something about self-love that needs to be healed. Surrender it to the divine. Okay? Yeah sacrificing okay this card says sometimes surrender is painful god's cutting away all that needs to go illusions obsessions addictions it's, it's a sacrifice to love so all of that stuff any illusions any obsessions any addictions that's blocking your ability to love 
got to go. The divine is clearing it out. You may be called to do some grounding. Uh, you may be feeling the urge to spend more time in nature. Um, you could be doing this, but if not, this is what you need to do to, you know, help get your energy grounded. All right. Then you can be able to, you know, really have something to offer another person because if you are focused on the past and stuck in the hurt and pain of the past, that means you have some healing to do. And, you know, it's not fair to bleed on people that didn't cut you, right? Yeah, we're all individuals, you know, but it's important to know your worth. And that's why you're going through this awakening here, you know, but you're being called, have some courage to just be open, be open to things. Yeah, get in that flow, okay? Again, radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. This is where you need to be, all right? So then instead of, you know, thinking about the past, speaking about the past, you know, and all of that, you'll be in the energy of gratitude, all right? Don't worry about, I feel like some of, some of y'all um, are clinging on so tight to past events, past hurts and all of that because you feel like forgiveness is letting someone off the hook and it is absolutely not. It's absolutely not. It is simply freeing you up to experience this flow type energy. Mm. Yeah. I just said some of y'all are clinging too tight, okay? Part of the reason you cling so tight to things is because you don't trust your intuition. You see red flags and ignore them. You get signs and symbols and synchronicities and you ignore them. One of the reasons you're being called to do some grounding and spend time in nature is so that you can deepen your intuition. Whoever you are, you're probably an old soul and your soul is longing for detachment and surrendering of things that it, it can't control. You know, it's ready to elevate. Okay, it's time to surrender the losses that you may have received, um, experienced, not received. I said received as soon as I saw this ease card, I'm telling you. The divine wants you to get in this energy of receiving. This card says it's easy for me to receive three times. Okay? Again, it's time to enlarge your territory. But it's very important that you heal that inner child. Okay? That's a part of your path. Don't be afraid to do that work. Okay? Because if not, you're going to stay stuck in delusion. And not, not uh, trusting this guidance. Some of y'all are stuck in delusion because you're not trusting. The guidance that you're receiving. And because of that. If you don't get out of it. You know. Look. This card even says. There's nothing from a past life. That can't be addressed in the current. Okay. Find a way to heal. Whatever it is. That's keeping you stuck and stifled, okay? So you can get into this energy of peace right here and out of grief. The way to do that is by detaching from the hurt, okay? Surrender it to the divine. So you can get in this energy of receiving, okay? And the divine flow. All you got to do is ask for help. That's all you got to do. Because... You have spirit guides that's been with you since birth. They the ones be sending you them signs, your spirit guides and your higher self, okay? This card says, invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm ready, God. Pursue me, okay? A closed mouth don't get fed. You must speak up and ask for help when you need help. Uh, because the divine realm, there's a, there's a rule now. God loves you so much that you have, you know, the free will to make any choices that you want in life. To make whatever decisions you feel are best for you. Or which, whatever you want to do. So, even when you're doing something that's not best for you. You know, your spirit guides or, you know, the holy angels, your ancestors, who's ever looking over you, you know, some, they might want to interject, but they cannot.
they cannot interject unless you call on them for help, unless you invite help. Unless you invite help. Now, why did I just pick up this card? What is this? Yes. Okay. The divine wants you to be in this energy right here. Blessed. But guess what? Your blessings are on hold because of your perspective. Perspective is everything. The things that have happened to you in the past were designed for your, your life transformation, for you to get on your path, okay? So, it was actually a gift. Even if it was painful, it was a gift. It happened for you, not to you. It's time to shift your perspective, okay? You got to look at things from both a practical uh, perspective as well as a spiritual perspective, all right? And then make some changes, okay? Because you're blocking a lot. You see those closed hands? You can't receive anything if your hands are closed. It's time for you to open that up and allow things to flow to you, okay? Simply by trusting your intuition. Trust the signs and symbols and stuff that you be getting. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside. Okay? That means to, from yourself. The, the messages that are coming from you. Um, coming to you. And this is your higher self as well. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Tap into yourself so you can, hey, so you can get in that flow where you ain't even really got to think much about it. Okay? It's going to require you to clear your energy. What's that? Faith? Yes. This is also going to be a demonstration of faith to the most high because right now the way you act, you acting like you ain't got none. Okay? And it's affecting your inner power. Yep. So, going forward, take the right action. The right action, which is to surrender these hurts, this pain, these wounds, that shadow that's following you and haunting you, wanting you to release it. That's the right action, okay? Yeah, so divine abundance can flow into you. Trust the signs that you are getting and let go. Now, I don't know where the hell that just come from. <laughs> I don't know where that channeling just came from, but whatever the divine got in store for you, you going to like it. I, you going to like it. Yeah. But in this, this is like new love. But they feel like you're going to reject it. Or maybe you rejected some kind of love that's trying to come in for you. I'm not sure. There's two different tarot decks. Let's get the message. King of Swords. Somebody wants to come in and, you know, with some honesty. Somebody is trying to be strategic about, some, ooh, about this Queen of Wands. Somebody that they are highly attracted to. Wow, they see Ten of Cups. A lot of happiness, a lot of love here. This person feels like, you know, with you they can have it all. Mm. Wow, there's a Three of Swords here. Maybe that three of swords is you being stuck on a hard ache or something like that. With that page of cups that I saw under here, this could be someone wanting to apologize, perhaps, or it could be a new love. Ooh, the Queen of Wands again. 
Yeah, somebody want to come in and apologize to you. Mm. Oh, wow, the Queen of Cups, that could be a mother. Sheesh. The hangman. Maybe somebody wants you to see something um, from a different perspective or something. I don't know. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What is it that you would like for the collective? You know? What message do you have for the collective? What is the message, Holy Spirit? Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Oh shit. Somebody wants This is giving me that somebody wants to come in with an offer of some sort. But look how this person is looking. This could be an offer or information. But this person is unsure as to how you're going to receive it, I'm getting. Then we got, okay. We got the death card, judgment. Five of Swords, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so what I'm getting here too is Spirit is asking you to put an end to like, I don't know if that's you judging somebody I don't know. This is giving me like somebody is very judgmental. This could also be um, whatever this past situation is. I see the emperor uh, here. So this person could have been trying to control something. Let me clarify something right quick because I see a story here, but I'm... I'm thrown off and bothered by something. Hold on a second. Because I'm getting to that, like, you know, spirit is asking you to stop judging a person because of something that happened in the past. They want you to, because, like, somebody got some kind of communication and they want to come in and, you know, mm, I feel like somebody got some information about 
their mother blocking something. I don't even know like this. So, you put an end to a situation. Because you felt like a person, you know, kept coming in and out of your life. Like, I guess it's, it was like the situation was passion-based. And because you really didn't know what was going on behind the scenes, I guess this person wasn't being completely honest about whatever it is that they had going on. They were leaving you in the dark. The communication was sketchy. Um, if anything, if, you know, this person was leaving a lot unsaid. So you, you know, got in this energy of, well, I'm going to protect myself, you know. Let me back up a bit. And when you got in this energy, you just, I'm getting that you were focused more on creating whatever it is, you know, that you were trying to manifest in your life. And you put an end to something. Let me see. Holy Spirit, why is this King of Swords here? Oh my God. Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords could also be an ending, right? We got the Death card, the Judgment card, and the Ten of Swords. All cards that, you know, speak to endings. But then you got a King of Swords with a Ten of Swords. And this is right under the seven of wands. Like you're being protected from something. What the hell is this? Girl, I, girl I'm getting so many downloads. It's kind of mind blowing. What the? 
Another card of ending or putting something to rest. Four swords, ten of wands. Some kind of ending or, you know, something ending or something being laid to rest, put to rest, is a major burden. There's hmm. three more cards down here, y'all. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Six of Pentacles. What the fuck? I said the Queen of Pentacles, but I meant the Six of Pentacles. So we got the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. That's 14, which is like the Five of Pentacles. So somebody is in the energy of lack. Yeah, because they was doing magic on this Queen of Wands. Who I'm getting is you. They was doing some kind of work on your gifts. This four of swords is because we got the death. Could be the end of a, a relationship, some kind of connection. What's this four of swords all about? This is crazy. Ten of swords and four of swords. You know what I'm saying? That's five of swords. That's out here too. The world and temperance. Yeah, you close the cycle. Somebody is hurting because you closed out of cycle. And this Hierophant card keeps coming up. I don't know if they're praying or if this is a divorce. Because the King of Swords could also be someone who's going through a divorce. And I, I'm looking at this Divine Source card. They're praying. Mm. They feel left out of your life and... Their kids' lives or something. Very interesting. Yeah, in my mind, I'm asking, like, who is this? This is a... An emperor energy, okay? This could be a boss figure, a father, or someone that was just being controlling in a situation. An emperor and the three of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and everything is fine. Damn. Twice. Ain't nothing fine. Not for real.
So I'm getting at this person. That's Ten of Pentacles. Three and ten. This could be a spouse for somebody. Either that or it's their family. Somebody's family, the person they was with and their family was focused on this person's pentacles, their money, okay? And they caused some kind of ending in their lives because they were judging a situation. Whatever they were judging this situation, how they felt about it, it caused, you know, they, they caused some kind of division. Mm. And again, I said at the beginning that I feel like somebody found out some information about their mother. The mother, baby mother, one of them, okay? When they got this communication or information they immediately started blocking themselves protecting their energy from this person who the queen of pentacles yeah that person was trying to keep them stuck from another lover and keep them in the energy of confusion wow Yep. All for this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Wands again. The one that on the front. There you go. All right. What whatever whoever this emperor is, it's extremely heavy on this person. Yeah, they think you have a new lover or something. And watching you. Again, death and rebirth. What the hell? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? Mm. I said, what can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? Wow. Five of Cups is regret. Three of Wands, like somebody is waiting. Somebody, they could have, maybe they regret making you wait. Maybe somebody was, you know, somewhere doing something else. Or maybe while this person was stuck in this energy of confusion, um, you may have been waiting. But, you know, it got to the point where, ooh, with this Justice card, this person could want to come in and bring you justice. Ten of, six of Pentacles is out here twice. They want to give you something. Yeah. They want some kind of romantic offer. Clarify Six of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Can you please give me something on the six of pentacles? Three of pentacles. Seven of cups. The emperor. Ten of swords right here. Look, and the six of pentacles is over here on top of the ten of swords. And I'm, I'm trying to clarify the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords come out again behind the Emperor. Temperance and Ten of Cups. So what I'm getting here is that there was a collaboration amongst some people to create some kind of confusion and illusions for this emperor energy all right 
that may uh may have caused this emperor to betray someone else okay an earth angel that this person actually you know has a lot of love for yeah send a cup to <laughs> okay I just think it's really sad how people try to come in between connections like knowing that this is the energy. Ten of Cups and the Sun? Come on now. What, what's what's going to happen next, Holy Spirit? Now what? This person is hoping that you're, you will accept them. Yeah. This person is praying. They praying. Mm-hmm. Because they're, they've been under heavy illusions. And this person is praying. They're asking help. That, that card that we saw earlier about, um, like, asking for help, this person is there. They are there because they want, they want this passionate new beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just... <sighs> Holy Spirit, what else can you tell us about this emperor? What's going on here? Yeah. Look. They want a passionate new beginning with you. This queen of wands. The spirit said that's the truth. Maybe they're going to come in with some kind of truth and clarity. Yeah, because they're having a tower. They, they've had some kind of epiphany. What's this Ace of Wands, Holy Spirit? Mm. Yeah, they want... They have to end something in order to get this new beginning. Yeah, and they're trying to be strong in order to make this change. Yeah, they're hope they're hoping that you won't, you know, block them out when they come towards you for it. And just the thought of it is heavily burdensome on this person. Let me see, what else can I get? What else is going on here, Holy Spirit? This is all about a masculine energy coming out. I feel like it's masculine. I just saw thief, community, and privileged lady. Holy Spirit, what do we need? What, what, what does the collective need to know? False person, occupation, and jackpot. Yeah, so somebody did something. Uh, to be a wealthy man, or to get in that energy. So maybe because this emperor energy was a wealthy man, somebody was doing all that they can to try to get a marriage or a commitment from this person. Yeah, because I saw that too with the three of pentacles and the seven of cups. You know, they were creating a, a whole lot of illusions to try to get this commitment. And this emperor energy is in deep regret about that shit. Whatever they feel like they fell for. Okay? Damn, 39 minutes. What about this wealthy man, Holy Spirit? Yeah, that, look. This wealthy man, he's ready for a change. That's, that's the emperor, the number four. 
He's he's ready for this the 13 break it down to a four. This person is ready for a change. Mm -mm. Maybe in the commitment that he's in, or he's ready to be committed. Anything else about this wealthy man? Yeah, that's that death and rebirth. So, maybe he's going through some changes. So, come in. Ooh, I see thief. Expectation came out here. Hey, Elijah. What's this expectation? It's a 10, too. Another 10. Poverty. Seeing death. Yep. Okay. So I see death card, which is some kind of ending. Okay. Main female. Privileged lady. Lovers, occupation, certain wealth. Mm. So, yeah, somebody tried to put an end into this situation because there's a man. There's um they know this person wants to work with you. You could either be this emperor energy or um the object of their affection. I'm getting that this person wants to come in and offer you something. I keep seeing that. Like I this gift energy as well as like the Knight of Pentacles shit. What's this expectation? Mature man. Yeah, you could have potentially even been waiting for this person, you know, to get their shit together, grow up a little bit. Maybe they was acting immature or just doing immature things. Imprisonment. Holy 
there's a masculine energy that's sick here. Because, hold on, <laughs> Holy, Holy Spirit, is this what I'm thinking? With this, mm. somebody had a secret lover. But for some of you, that's, there's a court situation going on surrounding money that's affecting um, this masculine's ability to come towards you. Yeah, with high honor. Mm. What the fuck? This, mm, 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 mm. this masculine could have found out that they're the person that they in a relationship with, commu committed partnership with, could have stolen something. Somebody telling on their ass. They came up on some sudden wealth. Okay. Unexpectedly. With this person now knowing what happened, they're in despair because they know they partnered up. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody got to leave this house. So, this, mm, mm, mm. why is this significant? I mean, why does the collective need to know this Holy Spirit? Because this has been coming out. Like, what does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to do about this? What's the likely outcome here? Because I feel like more details are coming out. I ain't finna do no two hour video. Now, Spirit says the outcome is going to be victory and success. Oh, my. On the bottom, we got the Empress. I see the star. I see Ace of Pentacles. So, collective, you, this is going to be victorious in some type of way. This journey, okay? This person, this person sees you in high honor, like despite everything that has happened, and they're going to travel towards you. They want to have victory and success with you. They see you as an empress, okay? Someone who is good news. Somebody that they can celebrate and have a good time with. But they're trying to get the courage, you know, to come towards you.
Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yes. This person experienced some kind of heartbreaking energy by some kind of deception from a Queen of Cups. Let's see. Who, who is this Queen of Cups? It caused a, a major burden on this person, too. Whew. But they're glad things were revealed, even though, you know, it hurts. Mm -mm -mm. Holy Spirit, what can you tell us about this Queen of yeah, somebody that was trying to control this person. This is the mother. Wow. For a lot of y'all, the the person that the masculine is it is or was in a relationship with was not the problem. They're not the karmic. The mother is. That's what this is about. Is that true, Holy Spirit? Is that what it is? The masculine's mom? Is this the masculine's mom? Or the feminine's mom? But I'm getting this is the masculine's mom. The wheel of fortune. They going through karma. Somebody that's going through, somebody is getting it. Yeah, this person is trapped in their head about how to come towards you. But they want it more than anything. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Same thing just came out. This King of Wands, look at him. Pissed. Pissed. And ready to take action. Because these people did something like stabbed them in the heart. It hurt. Whatever they did really hurt this person. Very deceptive. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit, that you want the collective to know before I close this out? Yeah, there's a new love offer coming. I don't know if this person going to apologize or what. Yeah, they they see and want stability with you. This person is going to be coming towards you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you getting your wishes fulfilled. You know, and they're, you know, they're afraid that you may. Hmm, you may be on in this ice queen energy. You know what I'm saying? This could all, I don't know why I'm just getting like, this could also be that mother energy, you know, somebody who's cold, but always got their hand out. Mm, mm, mm. This could also be the person that they're in a relationship with. Wow. Whoever's in this Queen of Swords energy now, they're in this Nine of Swords energy. They're stressed out because they know that this King of Swords wants this Empress. And they're worried about, you know, a new beginning between the two of them. It's causing a tower, too. A lot of things being revealed. 
because this person feels like you know they missed an opportunity with their ultimate happiness and shit they 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 mm -mm, they coming back from that they coming back for that walking away from all that other shit that they didn't even want and they gonna do it quickly too this person has been changing their lifestyle and everything allowing spirit to guide them finally trusting their intuition they leaving these other people out in the cold that try to keep them stuck and blinded from giving you this love offer, knowing that this was a divine connection. Yeah, they was trying to keep them away from. Wow. But also men and father involved. Final advice for the collective. Yep, look. The divine wants you to know that the this family used all kind of toxic manners to keep this person stuck. They want you to see things from a different perspective. Yeah, they, somebody was obsessed with keeping that person stuck in that energy. Yep, because they wanted to keep an eye on his coins. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, and this person being stuck in that Seven of Cups energy, those illusions and confusions. It caused them to hold back from you. And this person is deep in their feelings about that. They know you were a gift. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Can people just find their business? Let me pull these cards up. Yeah, I think the divine wants some, you know, some of y'all to know the the problem, more than anything, the biggest karmic in this situation is the this mask and his mother. So afraid of losing um, control of her son and his resources. But how you in control anyway? I don't understand. I don't think you are, miss. I don't think you are. Well, what's that means? My son come home at 1 o'clock in the morning doing the refrigerator. Well, that. that kitchen has been cleaned already. So, no dishes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying that this must be significant to somebody. Watching this. Okay. Alright. Um, there's a lot of betrayal here. A lot. A lot. And I'm getting that for you, like you just you all living your life, doing your thing, not even thinking about this. So, I don't know if it's you who has to, you know, work on accepting something or shadow work or if it's your counterpart, you know, apply the roles as they fit. But somebody needs to release some hurt. It could be this masculine, I'm telling you, because they are pissed. Y'all saw the way his fist was clenched on that uh, King of Wands card? Oh, baby. He's pissed. Because this person saw you as a gift. And this, uh, yeah, luck is on your side, though. Something's going to work out here. Wow. Ooh. 
Now, I just got this same energy in my last car. A blue moon, believing the impossible. There's one coming in two weeks now. And it's a super moon. Your hard work is paying off, okay? It's time to take action. Somebody knows it's time to take action in this situation. And they're hoping for a miracle. Remember I said earlier they were praying? This person is praying for a miracle with you. Whatever um, illusions they had over this person that made, look, in a win-win outcome is forecast. So that means this is going to be good for both of you. Wow. I like that now. Spirit is, ooh, okay. Spirit is saying, look at the bigger picture here. Conclusions are within reach. The energy is actually gaining momentum it's, it's, and it's rising, okay? Beautiful energy. And it's time. I said that at the beginning, it's time to release negativity. That's very necessary in order to ascend. Okay? And confidence is your key to success. Yeah. So I'm getting with this energy is gaining momentum and that's the center energy. This person is, you know... Almost there. They've been working on trying to get the courage to come in um, and speak to you. But they still have to release some negativity that they have about the betrayals that they experienced. This person may have betrayed you um, as a result of their betrayal. Which is still wrong, you know. But Spirit is asking you to look at the bigger picture here. Not everything that w that went wrong um, and all of that stuff. Look at the big picture. The overall big picture here. Not all the small, tiny little things. The big picture. Yeah. Because the answers you need are coming. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. You and your loved ones are safe, in case you were wondering. And your commitment is being tested. So some of you may wonder, you know, um, some of you may wonder if is it okay for you to love this person? Oh, excuse me. And I'm getting that it is. And it's saying that your commitment is being tested. You could have been a person praying for this situation. You could have been a person that asked the divine. Um To come in, you know, to step in and intercede, you know, on whatever was going on here, you know, to help this person be able to see what was really going on around them and that they were getting snaked out. And so after praying for that, yeah, your commitment to it is being tested. Have faith in your dreams, whatever that was. If you wanted to be with this person in the past, and you prayed and asked God to, you know, do their thing and um, help this person get to a point where they can start to heal or something, so that they can be able to get in this energy of a committed partnership or just, you know, maturing. Yeah, Spirit is saying the end of a tough cycle is approaching, okay? So all that shit is over with because this masculine went through a major tower. They've been awakened to the deception around them. And that was very necessary for this connection. This is a divine connection. Um, but if this person did not go through this and realize who this um feminine energy was that was trying to control their life by orchestrating things in the background they would have continued being able to do so so the divine orchestrated things so that everything can be revealed to this masculine so that going forward when you all do get together if you decide to do so because we have free will you know it's up to you right but Spirit is saying, listen, confidence is key here. 
New moon in Gemini. Gemini can be significant. I said confidence is key, but it's really communication is key. But confidence too. This card is already out here. Confidence is key to your success and communication is key. The divine has already let this person know intuitively. Remember I said earlier in the reading, they're starting, they, this person has started to trust their intuition more now, whereas in the past, they probably didn't, didn't believe in none of that, right? But communication is key in order to have this new start, this new beginning. This person definitely knows that, so they're going to have to come in and give you some information. They know it's the time to give rather than take. So, this person could have been uh, like always asking you about your life, what you doing, what you got going on and all that. Now, instead of taking information, they're going to be giving more information because they want to balance this situation. <laughs> Excuse me. Confirmation. They want to balance the situation out. Whew. Okay, I'm sleepy. I'm going to close this reading. A fiery climax approaches, y'all. Okay, something is going to happen soon. I don't like to get times and stuff, but I just feel like work through your fears, spirit say, okay? Because the fiery climax is approaching and prosperity lies ahead. Scorpio, Aries, and Taurus, either one of those signs could be significant. Doesn't have to be one of these signs involved, but it could be. So if you're afraid of allowing this person to come back in, um, spirits ask you to work through those fears, okay? Because this can actually be a very profitable, prosperous connection, all right? Again, this is a divine connection. We saw the Two of Cups, um, the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the, the Four of Wands, like all, of, all the soulmate cards, okay? All right. Don't let pride get in your way, Spirit said. Oh, shit. Now, that's giving me don't be no fool and block your blessings because luck is on your side here. Hold your vision. So, in the past, again, I said, some of y'all prayed for this. Some of y'all prayed for this moment. Because there was a time... When the connection with this person was everything. And you probably was singing, I wish that I could have this moment for life. But somewhere along the line, there was a separation. Because people saw how powerful this damn connection was between you and this person. And they decided to come in between that. But see, once y'all get back together, and both of y'all... You know, are highly intuitive and tapped in. It's going to be over with for all that type of shit. Nobody ain't going to be able to come between that. Because that game, that passion that he got for you. And this new life that he wants to have with y'all. Where y'all are co-creating things together. They feel like that y'all could have anything. This person is ready to do everything about a book. Like, you are just a breath of fresh air to them. You are their peace. Okay? Man, what... Spirit is saying, don't let pride get in your way here. This is what you prayed for. This is what you wished for. It's on the way. And luck is on your side. Hold your vision. Okay? Same thing with that imagine card. What you imagine y'all being like co-creating life together. It's on the way. It's away. It's on the way. And take time to breathe out. Exhale. Let all that shit out. Let it go. Okay? And balance spirituality and practicality. Here. You've been seeing 717 a lot. That's exactly what this means. And meditate and contemplate. Go within. Because something is on the way for y'all, okay? A miracle. And then you... You and this person, spirit about to use y'all. Spirit about to use y'all. And, and when it happens, spirit said, be, be bold and make the first move. But it was so psychopath. Look, 
this could be a twin flame connection. Spirit has, um, there's a mission for the two of you. You're about to work together doing something. Okay? I believe that um, those missions get given to the masculine channels those missions. You don't, you know, the feminine, whoever the masculine energy is, male or female, the feminine does not get those um, the mission that the divine couple is supposed to do together, I believe goes to the masculine energy. So you don't even know what it is. You could even know that you and this person are supposed to work together and do something or you feel that way. But you don't know exactly what it is. They do. They do. But yeah, when this person comes in, see, I just got something else looking at this love card. The idea, um, divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself. There's, there's going to be an acceptance of this love that this person has for you too because I'm getting that the people who intervened they're going to be learning a major lesson about love through the karma that they're going to receive. Mm -hmm. Major lesson. Major lesson. And they still going to have to watch y'all get loved on by this person because this masculine is not giving up. Kudos to you, masculine. Do your shit, okay? How's somebody going to try to... Mm -hmm. Her, the mature woman. This mother, I'm telling y'all. Yep. Somebody that was supposed to be protecting you, but, but was low-key <laughs> stabbing you in the back like a motherfucker. Yeah, shooting daggers with that arrow in it. Hold on. Protection Garden, again, came down here. Drop your shields. So when this person comes in, Spirit wants you to not be so guarded, okay? Then, again, see things from a higher perspective, okay? Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Nothing wrong with that. But also, trust in the universe. All right? Spirit know you a warrior. You know, you ain't going to take no shit. But trust in the universe. Trust this guidance that you're receiving. Learn. From this experience. That's why they say look at it from a higher perspective. Drum, dream, and journey. Shape shift and transform. And unveil your gifts. Yes, I'm telling y'all. That gift card that came out and said this happened for you, not to you. This was to help you open up your gifts. Yeah, because you're a white witch, whoever you are. You're here to do good magic, good work. Fire guardian. It's time to ignite your passion. Yeah. Marching to the beat of your own drum, doing it authentically, okay? Winter, take care of your needs. Yeah. Make sure you, you know. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Yes, and deal with them. Okay? Shed old skin. Release the past. She wolf. Unleash the wild within. Yep, don't be afraid. Because guess what? You have guardian angels. I'm I said that at the beginning. You are not alone. You're not going through this alone. You were never alone. You were never alone. This masculine was never alone. Okay? I'm starting to itch. What the hell going on? I don't get it. Yep, but hermit. Retreat and recharge. I'm getting that this person was probably in hermit mode, but the two of you together 
are going to be doing this in preparation for whatever work it is um, that the divine has for you. Okay? Yeah. You're going to be sharing your story. Eventually. Alright, that's it. That's all I have for y'all. This is a lot. Some of y'all have been rejecting a new beginning or, you know, just um, closing yourself off to love because of the pain of the past. Spirit and Spirit is calling on you to learn from what happened and move forward instead of being stuck on the pain and what happened. Again, look at it from a higher perspective, all right? This is a spiritual connective. So you have to look at it spiritually as well as practically in the 3D, all right? I ain't going to beat it to death. I'm going to leave it there. <sighs> if this message resonates, go ahead and um, let me know by commenting down below. Feel free to share the message with someone. Please hit the thumbs up button, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Come on now. Exchange some energy with me. Um, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. I'd love to be able to pick up on your energy as well. Um, and until next time, y'all. Peace out.